for shortcuts you have to navigate to the davinci resolve drop down menu and search for keyboard customization when you click on it you will have this uh, window over here here in the upper right corner you have this drop down menu and first you have all the pre-installed presets like davinci resolve adobe final cut and so on so if you're coming from a different program you can just select your preferred keyboard layout now under this uh, line over here those are your personal presets that you have saved for example i'm using this one in these three dotted lines here you can save a new preset so once you've made your changes you just click on save new preset you can name it over here and then click ok then you can also import new presets you can also export presets or you can delete presets now here in the delete presets you can only delete custom made presets you cannot delete the built-in presets so don't worry about that now let's go down here and actually show you how to change your keystrokes one way to do it is navigate for example i want to change my razor tool i can either navigate through this menu over here and go timeline and search for the razor tool and then change it from here but what i most commonly do is make sure that you have selected all commands so when you click here on search it will search all commands and not just the specific application or the specific panel make sure you're under all commands and look for razor now i can either delete it or add a new keystroke you can reset everything the way it was by pressing on this button over here remember it will always reset uh, to the latest save point so if i were to switch this to b for example click save then switch back and then i decided to reset it it will reset back to b it won't reset back to c now let's add another keystroke for razor let's say for example b we all know that b is the trim edit tool so if i press it it will say oh no b is already used do you want to assign this keystroke anyways and i would say assign now i would have this exclamation mark what i would do is search for the blade tool and then delete it from here and now if i go back to the razor i wouldn't have this exclamation mark anymore and once you've made your changes you just click on save and it will save all changes you can also type on all of your buttons on the keyboard here and it will show you everything you can do with this button for example what is shift plus something else does well it does this <laughs> it's really easy to navigate as you can see almost as easy as subscribing to this channel giving a like and maybe sharing with a friend thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye